Hello guys, last video we looked at how to use JWT authorizer in HTTP API gateway to authorize requests with access token issued by AWS Cognito. Besides an access token, Cognito issues an ID token. You can technically use an ID token with JWT authorizer as well. However, a better use of an ID token is a client-side application that can extract uh, user information from it. The advantage of using an access token to authorize with an API is that access token can carry a set of permissions or scopes for an application that access token is issued to. In accordance with the scopes, a bearer of the token can be allowed or denied access to certain API resources. In this video, we will look at how to configure scopes in Cognito and use them in JWT Authorizer to allow access to resources. I updated the application a little bit to add fake create posts route. This route accepts title and the body of the posts and returns a fake post with a fake ID and user ID and status 201 created. In HTTP API Gateway, I also created the post route and connected it with AWS Lambda. I attached JWT Authorizer to all the routes except uh, healths. Now let's go to Cognito to create scopes. In the Cognito user pool, we go to App Integration and then we go to Resource Servers and click on a Create Resource Server. For Resource Server name, we can put messages. And then as a resource identifier, we also put messages with a lower case. And then we can add custom scopes. Here, our custom scope will be read. And we can put a description read messages. And now we can create a resource server. Since we have only a get endpoint for messages, this is all we really need. Now we can go and hit create resource server again. And the next resource server name will be posts. And we can put posts as a resource server identifier. So at custom scopes, we can put read. And uh, we can set description as read posts. And then for another one, we can put write. And then we can put as a description, write posts. Technically, you can put any kind of scopes you want. For example, create, update, or delete. So here you can be uh, do whatever scopes you think it is necessary for your application. However, you got to keep in mind that Cognito integration will only allow a maximum of uh, 50 scopes. All right, let's create resource server. Now we need to go to client app and attach those scopes you can attach the scopes in a hosted ui you click edit in a hosted ui we scroll down to select custom scopes we click on it and now we can see messages read posts read and posts write as i mentioned before keep in mind that the total amount of scopes allowed including open id connect scopes is 50. so let's click save changes now let's go to api gateway and add scopes to jwt authorizer We're going to go to authorization section and click on messages authorizer. And right here we have add scope. So now we can add a scope messages read and click save. Let's do the same with the posts. We add posts read. For the post route, we'll put posts right. And finally, for the post to get by ID, we also put post read. Now let's check the integration. First, let's check create post route. And then we can click send. The route should be protected by the authorizer and deny access. Now let's go to Cognito's hosted UI to get a token. All right, we'll scroll to the app clients and we will click on view hosted UI. All right, in the view hosted UI login, let's make sure that the response type is token. And then, as you can see, when we get redirected, we also have the scopes here. And those are all the scopes, right? Messages read, posts read, and posts write. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, log in. All right, as usual, we got our token in the URL. So let's copy the whole URL and get the token. Let's copy the access token. 
let's put it as a header for create post request. Now let's go ahead and test it. And you can see we get a fake post back with a status created. Now let's go ahead and uh, test the get post route with this token as well. And now we also can see that we're retrieving all the posts. So the token and the scopes work. Now let's go ahead and remove the right scope from the token so we can only be able to get post but not able to write a post. Let's go to Cognito again. Uh, and since we're already logged in, we can either clear our browser's cookie or we can just open the link in the incognito window. By opening the link in the incognito window, it forces us to log in again. And let's go ahead and make sure the response type is token. And then when we have scopes, let's go ahead and remove uh, posts right scope. All right, right here, let's go ahead and delete posts right right now don't forget to hit enter let's go ahead and log in again again we got the token in the url let's copy it let's go ahead and post it in the vs code and uh, copy the access token let's add this new token to the routes let's go ahead add it to the get post route and then let's add it to the create post route so now, if we hit get post route, it should allow us to get posts. However, if we try to create a post, it should deny it. All right, when we clicked OK, you can see that we got the list of the posts. Now let's go ahead and try to create a post. And right here we got forbidden. And in the header, you can see that the post write is a required permission to create posts. However, the token that we request it doesn't have post write permissions therefore we are not allowed to create posts this is how you protect resources in http api gateway with jwt authorizer and access token scopes thank you for watching and i will see you in the next video